Hey, 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 hello, YouTube. Spaz coming at you. What you're about to watch is a summary of the last cooking stream we had. It's put together by yours truly, not Mr. Editor, so there won't be that same amount of frequency in the memes and effects, but I hope you still enjoy it like you have been lately. It's been nice that you've been so vocal about that, by the way. Thank you so much for leaving so many nice comments. We had a charity stream with Corsair and Save the Children to help the people of Ukraine, where we were able to raise a whopping $25,020. And one of the milestones we had, donation-wise, was to do a cooking stream where I I attempt to cook a Ukrainian classic. And so in this one, we're cooking verneki. Sorry about the pronunciation. If you have your own experience with this dish, feel free to let me know how I did in the comments. This was my first time cooking it. And if you enjoyed it, as always, leave a like on the video. It really helps out a lot. And I love you guys big time. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> it's is about to go down. If you are a fellow Ukrainian watcher, then uh, don't hate on me, yeah? I wouldn't hate on you if you cooked Swedish meatballs the wrong way. I'd be like, good try, you fool. No, I would that scratch that last part. It was a while since you guys were in my kitchen. You want to see, you want to have a look see route around? There's the coffee corner, yeah? There are you guys, hey, hey oh! Here is uh, the uh, equipment. We got some potats, some onions, the poster that you guys keep asking about. My girlfriend's sister made that really, really pretty. Then we have the uh, soda streamer there. You guys know I drink carbonated water exclusively. And then uh, here, here's where we're going to cook. The recipe is plain and simple, chat. We're going to take potats. We're going to boil them. We're going to take onions. We're going to saute them in a lot of butter. And then we're going to mix those two together. We're going to put it in a pasta dough and then boil it and then fry it and then eat it with some dill and pancetta. Mwah! Pancetta at the end. And that's varinecki in a nutshell. I've never cooked it before. Let's see how it goes. 250 grams, I think, for like two portions. 49, 50, ladies and gentlemen. Golf claps in the chat. You're gonna be uh, adding some flour if it's too wet and some water if it's too dry. And you're gonna go back and forth like that until they get the consistency they want. A bit of salt. Let's get one egg yolk. Bloop. Getting one in there. Now we need about like five tablia spoons of water. But I think I'm gonna go with like milk. Maybe 50-50. We'll do two uh, tablia spoons uh, milky roux and then two uh, water. And then a little bit of sour cream as well in there. Hey, uh, one... Hey, approximately two. This is not too important. Hey. Hey. Okay. We got that. We don't go olive oil. I have this very nice organic rapeseed oil from Östelén. Keep it to Östelén in the chat. Southern parts of Sweden. Oop. Something like that. It has like this lovely yellow color, which I really love. Yeah, if I want to put a little sour cream in there, maybe a little tablets, a little, little, little teaspoon, maybe a little bit more like that. There we go. Now we're gonna whisk and we're gonna create our little dough. So I'm gonna whisk the um, middle of it and then slowly get the flour involved. I almost did it, chat. It's begun. I hit the lamp. Is it kneadable? Kneadable! Chat is kneadable. Okay. Welcome to the part where we need for about 10 minutes. Enough! We're done! That's a good looking dough. Look at that dough though, bro. That dough bro. Do, do, ho. About to cover it up. Now, this is gonna rest. <coughs> Potatoes, the star of the show. A lot of the recipes, they said... Hello there. A lot of the recipes, they said that you should peel the uh, potatoes after cooking them, but I want to peel them first. I, may, I find it easier. If you cut the potatoes, you can uh, reduce the cooking time a little bit. Oh, right in the compost. Uh, how do we dice onion, chat? Every good dish needs some diced onion. You know, onions is a type of vegetable that sometimes when I buy them, I just kind of go, how the hell do you make it work if you're in the onion business? Like literally, I buy an onion and it costs me two Swedish kronas, right? That's for me. Imagine what the store pays for them. It's even less. How many onions do you have to like ship? in order to make a living off of it. Gotta be so much, you know? So much so that if you grow anything else on the same surface, you're rich. Food for thought. Flesk thoughts. <laughs> Onion. Potat. Dough. 
It's important to go ham on the butter. That goes for any cooking. Let's see, we have that many potatoes. I'm thinking probably like that will be fine. So again, we want them to change color. If it was up to me, I would probably be done here. Like this is where I would leave them. But uh, the videos I saw, they were like brown ass, dude. What did you name your Gloomhaven character? Sloth Burger. Sloth Burger the Void Warden, dude. I'm just dicing the pancetta, chat. Here we go. I'm just gonna go in with that. Just a ba 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 uh. I need some more salt in there. I know that. I just know that. These are potatoes. They need more salt. A pepe. Freshly ground. I think you keep it rather rustic. We could probably have gone with more onions here, but this is okay. And then I'm gonna get my uh, pancetta in the pan. Okay, we got the pancetta all up in there. It's looking a bit like it looked in the videos that I saw. This is good. Get some flour on there. Oh, it looks so good. Rulla, rulla utan. Oh, that texture on that dough though, I'm impressed. The 10 minute kneading chat, it did the trick. Look at that crispy pancetta, dude. Oomphy. I'm going in with some onions. They're ones that we didn't use. Turning down the heat now. But the onions just have a grand old good old time in there. Nice. The filling is cooling off nicely. <laughs> Here I go. I'm nervous. Is that it? Did I do it? I hope so. Take some of that filling. Dip in the water. Bit of water here. Nip it together. All the way around. Wish I had my soundboard so I could golf claps on this because this looks good. Cute. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a full plate of Vernierknierikniri. Oh, double rocky. Rotat the pan a bit. Maybe they were a little stuck to the bottom. Here we go, Chad. This is more like it. Most of the times, dumplings are different sorts are done when they float up. Yes, you would be correct. But in this case, with Vernierki, uh, they float up and then you time them. You time them for like five to ten minutes. So I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna put them. Uh, Straight in the pan, actually. Okay, a little bit of color coming in there. I'm too, I'm a little bit scared of frying them for too long, so I'm gonna turn them now. And if we don't get too much more coloring than this, that's fine. I'm getting ready to plate, chat. Are you ready to plate? Let's get some matcha salad just to give it a little bit of greeny. Moment of truth. How many of these do you guys think I can nom? They look really nice. Smoky paprika pancetta and onion. I'm using my hands. I should have worn gloves. I'm ruining myself. This is sour cream. And then dip. I'm really bad at plating, but it looks good. I'm excited. It's time to eat. Itada kimats, dude. Are you guys ready to eat a dumpling? A little bit of dill, a little bit of everything on there. And we're going in. Oh. I get it. I understand. It's like a hug in your mouth. This is all just a bunch of cozy stuff happening in your mouth. You know, you know, like um, an exciting sort of like um, Asian dish can sort of hit you with that ah! and it's like an explosion in your mouth. This is just a warm hug in your mouth. All the flavors in here are so kind and nice to each other and they just they just want to look out for you. You know, the sour cream freshens it up a little bit, you know, and the dill gives it a little bit of pop. I'm really happy. <laughs> we made some mistakes down the line. Oh, well, this is going to be a, a difficult one. I'm so glad we made this. This is really, really freaking nice. This is Spedge. This is my music video. About to see it though from the face cam view. About to spew all the facts in my rap. I'm about to pew pew. Hey, Spedge, about to go in on the beat like it's no sin. My stream is the best. You can forget the rest. I just flesk. Uh, stop! Stop! I gotta, I gotta go, chat. I gotta go. If I don't go now, it's gonna turn real awkward. A synchronized deuce in three, two, one.